Well, hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio D and today, as you can see, we're not in my studio. Today actually we are in South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina. So I'm gonna take you to another event, plain air event. I'm sitting outside so the cars are passing by. So I'm gonna take you to a plain air event, another plain air event in Charleston, South Carolina. It's a two days uh, plain air competition organized and hosted by uh, NOPS, uh, National Oil and Acrylic Artist Society organization. They have here or they will have here in Charleston an uh, exhibition of best of uh, small work, best of America 2021 best small work uh, exhibition and they decided to you know organize two days um, two day of competition, plein air competition so I'm participating in it and I'm gonna take you with me. Here we go! I'm decided not to shoot a video about travel packing. If you have any question, please shoot me a message and I will shoot a video on how to pack for this kind of events. Uh, but you know, watch my first video, you will see um, how I'm packing for. But briefly, uh, this is what I have. I have a box of uh, canvases, frames, umbrellas, my painting bag and behind me and extra paint extra paint uh, and some stuff right here and another box which I don't see I probably brought it inside with me is actually framing box uh, everything is for framing so schedule is very simple today we're gonna go on scouting location scouting and um, so we have to find four, five, six, up to six good locations to paint. And then tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, God, by God, you know, God's will, we will paint. And then on Friday, we have to deliver paintings to, uh, to the gallery. By the way, tomorrow on Wednesday, we'll, be do, uh, we'll do stamping. And then uh, after stamping, we can go paint. That's why we're doing scouting today, so we know exactly where to go without wasting time. Sorry for the cars passing by. And then um, on Friday we'll have to deliver the painting. Uh, after painting Wednesday and Thursday, and on Friday we'll have to deliver painting by, I think by 9 o'clock. And by 12 uh, it will be judged, it will be awards, and basically um, on Friday we can paint just for ourselves, um, just go to some locations, just, you know, whatever, or chill. And um, on Saturday we'll, uh, we'll pick up whatever unsold pieces I hope we will sell, that's reasonable here. Actually, it's not a reason. My approach to any plain air events is very simple, just go and paint. And uh, if you win, you win, if you sell, you sell, if not, you have a good painting. So today is Tuesday, a location or sc location scouting day. So it's basically scouting day. So let's hit the road. So we just stopped at uh, um, actually Charleston, uh, downtown Charleston, um, beautiful city, a lot of things to paint. And we're gonna stop actually at the gallery where the exhibition of past work of NOAPS will be and where the exhibition actually, actually of the plein air will be. So we'll just make the stop and then we'll just start scouting around um, and I'll show you all, the, all everything around here. So we're gonna walk on the streets of Charleston, see if we can find something to paint inside the Charleston. If not, we'll just go outside somewhere, harbor or boats or something. All right, so let me show you what we got here. And this is Charleston classic horse riding. So this is a view of the house and the tree and shadows. So I like that. 
So I already took a photograph of this, so tonight we will review it as well. I like that location, this alley or like yard. This, you know, light coming here, here and everything is in the shadow. It's a good composition. So let me take a shot of that. Good candidate. So this will be actually really nice. Probably will be vertical. But nice, um, you know, the sun is right now covered by clouds, but you have a shadows right here, casting shadow from the trees. And, and this is a really nice composition. Um, so let's go on. By the way, uh, this is the uh, scenery of Charleston and this is on every street. By the way, this is gallery and this is gallery and this is gallery. <laughs> There's a lot of gall art galleries around here. So it's, I think it's like a center of um, art here. So basically this is a scenery, another scenery that I really like. Uh, this is just traditional Charleston trees and uh, buildings and casting shadow from the trees and lights so this is nice uh, or something like this um, you know the buildings or even something like this um, so we'll try to find something Something like this is catching your eyes. Look at this. Um, it's awesome. So we're in the harbor. I like that, you know, all this. And we'll go right there because I used to paint there. I know some couples, you know, several spots, that location. So it's really tough to figure out what to paint here just because it's just a lot. Um, you can select from. This is a nice scenery right here. Uh, maybe six by 12 um, horizontal. Not bad, so let me take a photo of this. So this is a good candidate. Because there is a lot of things to paint, I took um, a lot of photographs right now of the streets and to be honest, I didn't have to really scout Charleston because you can you, know, you can go any on any corner just set up easy and start painting so what I want to find is something outside of the Charleston kind of iconic not iconic but something that people can look and say hey this is Charleston but not actually the street of the Charleston maybe harbor maybe uh, you know somewhere in the, in the water or boats or something outside the actual Charleston downtown so I'm going back to a car and we'll start driving around in a suburb just to just to find something. Yes, okay, so we are at Champ Creek Park. Beautiful place with a lot of boats, uh, like shrimp boats, uh, fishing boats, uh, march marches, as you can see right there. Uh, so let's explore and see what we can do. Maybe you can come tomorrow and paint here. I just found this composition with all the shadows from the trees, so it's a really nice pass as well. Good candidate. Look at this contour with you know shining water. Um, that's a really nice scenery right here. this when you see that beautiful color it's actually you know what in reality it's really completely I mean it's completely different than what you see on the video and it's really hard to get fixed actually you know the right colors that's why you have to paint uh, plain air not from the photograph because you you see the colors differently 
uh, but something like this I just love you know what yeah, I just love it now you can see this only here maybe you can see something somewhere else but I can see it only here beautiful place now this is a spot we will get to the end of this and I'll show you um, what I really like I like this boat it's a fishing boat right there and the boats in the back and and again I paint here several times at the sunset actually in a, in a dark dawn uh, to make you know when the sun is going down all that behind is lit up by like you know lights artificial lights from the boats from the restaurant from the uh, hotel and it's just beautiful right so this is what I want to this is what I really want to paint because I love it zoom it in let me see if I can zoom it in yeah something like this um, something like this or like this maybe like this yeah so let me take a photograph this is a really good um, scenery not with this light you need to be on in the morning or actually at, at sunset make sure the you know you you know this pole you know what I don't know what the names of this but make sure it's actually in the frame so let me move it a little bit down yeah something like that good candidate as well if you like painting boats all right guys I just want to show you this <laughs> look at this guys sitting on the uh, on the boat waiting for the food here's another good composition with the river you do like this something like this with the river that's why SPK composition SP composition and with all this this can be removed you know the trees um, just simplify everything but in general really good composition as well Guys, look at this contour boat. You know, the shiny water right here and the boats right here. It's as absolutely gorgeous. You can do probably horizontal, like 12 by 24. That's a retro, but look at that. Okay, my friends today is a day uh, we're kind of running late uh, we have to go uh, stamp our canvas and go painting did I select anything to paint no I have some ideas but I decided you know this is two days painting only two days uh, let's let's impro improvise so I don't want to paint street so I'm not gonna paint streets Streets. I, unless I will see today something completely different, because uh, actually looks like temperature of the light and everything is a little bit different than yesterday. So, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna paint in uh, Cham Creek Park and probably on um, on a harbor. So let's go. Okay, so this is the uh, three canvases that I stamp and I normally stamp uh, put six stamps on a board and I cut any sizes I want with it for the frames that I have so right now I need to make a decision what um, what I'm gonna paint what size I'm gonna paint and um, cut the canvas so let me do that all right I'm packed and ready to go to paint so see what we can find to paint. What is unfortunately what is down? Um, but we're gonna not paint the 
We're gonna paint what we imagine. All right, so let's see what we can find. Okay, this is morning, this afternoon job. Um, not satisfied with this, kind of satisfied with this, but we'll see maybe change some, we'll do some changes. So um, let's do go painting. All right, I'm going to check another place. Now we have to figure out. So we're gonna paint this. I'm gonna crop it, but right now we have to. I have to figure out, or we have to figure out what um, what format. I'm actually in someone's property, <laughs> just inside the very expensive apartment complex. So, uh, so we have to decide what uh, format uh, we're gonna take. So let me concentrate on this, and you just watch. see I'm actually using my phone to crop it instead of like this I'm you know moving my camera and looking what you know zooming in zooming out and see you know what 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 can I get from this now we can do six by eight actually or nine by twelve this is nine by twelve Look at that beautiful sunset behind me. It's just awesome. You know, moments like this will, you know, juice your desire to paint, um, re-energize. So it's it's a it's a good time to you know sometimes to just you know go um, on the beach and just chill for a couple hours until tomorrow <laughs> to paint again uh, so I, I actually painted yesterday the sunset it was gorgeous uh, the clouds were different but I think today uh, today uh, sunset will be beautiful as well because we have some clouds a little bit of clouds and the temperature is temperature is I think much better so there is not much hue so we'll see All right, my friends, today is the day, so it's last day of painting. Today is the gallery day, so we have to <coughs> drop all the painting to the gallery for judging and for sales. So let me show you what I did this couple days. So I got one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, six paintings, and I have two in my um, wet care but I'm not going to display them. I will show you later on. So this is morning. Uh, this is the sunset. This is dusk at Sham uh, Creek. This is 
trees in the park. I know how what mistake I made. Uh, this is Nocturne. Kind of Nocturne. And this is, I love this one. This is the water under the bridge. Or I call it Pastel's Water of Sham Creek. Gorgeous water. All right, so all these paintings are going to gallery. So all the paintings are loaded and we are ready to drop it in the gallery. So let's go. So we are in the gallery. I just dropped off the paintings and I'm going to show you paintings for best small work of 2021. I made it last year. I didn't make it this year, but the you know, paintings are amazing. getting for some food and exhibition and it's all nice I love this moment when it's just awards and everything it's just you know getting together with people love it We just finished the uh, awards. Uh, uh, the awards were for entire exhibition, including in plein air. So it was very nice. So I got the third place. Uh, but you know, all good. Even third place. Just to be part of it, it's all good. And uh, I think several paintings already sold, so I appreciate it. All right, so now time to chill. Uh, maybe just you know scout around take some photographs and uh, get ready for to leave because we're leaving tomorrow so I will see you